What's up, everybody? My name is OMG WTF LOL FWBRB, and welcome to a new two playthrough TEW. I wanted to say TEW, but two sounded right on the dot, so let's go with that one. Fuck it, we're doing it live, right? Anyway, this is gonna be the new two series, don't worry. Invasion is sticking around. Season 2 of Invasion will start up in the new year, 2019, so look forward to that. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to be starting up a new series here, a local to global series. I had you guys vote on it a while back, took some of the, the uh, commented suggestions from you guys, threw them up in a poll, and the, uh, the winner was a local to global series in the territory days. So we are going to be starting back all the way in the ripe year of 1960. Oh yeah. Anyway, we are going to be starting on Rock Hard. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'll be honest with you guys. But, um, I've got a calculator here to help me out with my, uh, my finances. Even though there's a financing thing in there. But, um, this is just a way to, uh, I guess keep track of, uh, of the thing. Oh, you know what I don't, I don't, I didn't realize? I don't think I ever thought of a, a company name, so... Um, should we just do TEW, like, to be funny? I don't know. What, what, what would be the name, though? Total Extreme Wrestling? <laughs> uh, no. I think I spelled global wrong. Yeah, I spelled it global. I just realized that. Who cares? But, uh, yeah, I haven't thought of a company name. I might just stick with what I always like to stick with, IWC. And, yes, before anyone says it, yeah, I know there's a real company out there named IWC. Uh, but I did not know that when I thought of the name. And I always thought it would be, a, you know, a funny company name to call it IWC to kind of play off, you know, the name for the internet wrestling community. And I always thought it would be cool and funny to have, like, the general manager figure be like, uh you know, also named IWC. His name would be I Ian Williams Carter, and he would kind of be like a playoff of Dixie Carter and all that, and be kind of a snobby person. And I thought the perfect person to play him would have been Rockstar Spud. None of that can happen now, because Rockstar Spud works for, um... works for WWE as Drake Maverick, as does... Well, Ethan Carter III doesn't really matter at all. But, um... I'm pretty sure even if I did ever do that, Dixie Carter wouldn't be too happy. But then again, Carter's a legal name. I don't think she could do a damn thing. It's not like I'm actually saying it's her. We're going to be playing as this character I created. He, his name is John Doe. Um, I didn't write any description. John Doe here has nothing. Although apparently he's a 90 babyface and heel. I, I didn't do any of this. This is all basic stats. John Doe to me is... Uh, well, he kind of represents us, the player. He's kind of an anonymous figure, and the reason why I named him John Doe is because, well, it's an easy name that people who want to stay hidden kind of give themselves up. So, John Doe, I'd like to imagine maybe from the future, maybe he's a uh, maybe is a time traveler and is coming back and using his knowledge from the future to uh, to lead this company. So, you know, maybe we will go along and do uh, an IWC company here and play off of that. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but if I ever, if I, just in case, you know, I haven't, it has been a while too, so we'll go over it real quick. Negotiating here is uh, pretty simple. It's, you know, negotiating contracts if it's going to be harder or easier. Motivating is pretty much motivating them to work harder in the ring. They're less likely to have off days. Creativity means that all turns and gimmick changes we oversee are more likely to be successful. Uh, leadership is how well we control our backstage environment. High score helps keep the atmosphere good and leads to less negative actions. And in diplomacy, levels affects how workers will respond to your choices when dealing with incidents. So a lot of the backstage stuff, you know. Uh, I'd honestly like to imagine the creativity on someone from the future would be pretty high since they have a, a pretty good knowledge of it. So how many points do we start off with again? I think it's 30. Yeah, so we'll give a good 10 points and creativity here. Was that really 10 points or does it go by twos? Wow, that's 10 points. Okay. Figured it would have been higher. So we'll start with good 10 points in creativity. We'll probably do more with that. And then, um, negotiating. I'm also probably gonna, 
And that was not 10 points. That was like 5 points. What, what did we start off with again? 30 or 25? Okay. You guys are probably like, yo, start, start this off already, dude. There we go. Good 10 points in creativity. So we're maxing our creativity out. Negotiating will do 5. Um, okay. I need to analyze which one I don't care a lot about. Ones that I can handle on my own. That really doesn't, bat, uh, you know, affect me. Uh, should I do 10 points for creativity, really? Yeah, no, we're, we're keeping that. We'll keep that one. But one of these is going to get sacrificed pretty hard. These are pretty much the same thing, so... I'm going to give three points there real quick. All right, that leaves us with three points. So we'll do one, two, three. Looks good to me. That's what we're doing. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we'll do, I think we need to be at least high to start our own company. Speaking of being high. And uh, preferences doesn't matter. That's just mostly for like AI stuff. Oh, actually, no, hold on. Preferences do matter. Uh, let's click that one on. Uh, owner goals doesn't matter. I want dirt sheet on as well. In fact, all these can stay on. That's that's fine. Okay, let's select uh, John Doe as the avatar, the man from the future. Here is all the companies we start off with. Mind you, this is the 60s, so there is not a single national company in here. In fact, there's only one company, and I'm sure you can all guess who it is. So we got the 50th State Big Time Wrestling over in Hawaii. They are small. All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling are regional. All Star Wrestling are also regional. That is, uh, I didn't speak, but that's obviously in Japan. Uh, ASW is in Canada. American Wrestling Association is in the midwest is regional atlantic grand prix regional in the maritimes in canada big time wrestling regional in the mid-south big time wrestling detroit okay in the great lakes central states wrestling in the midwest usa championship wrestling from florida obviously in florida dale martin promotions south british isles East Coast Wrestling Association, Mid-Atlantic USA. I'm not mentioning, I've just started mentioning where they're all from. That doesn't matter all that much. Anyway, here's all the companies. I'm not going to go through them all like I was just about to. A lot of regionals, a uh, couple smalls, and uh, we got one cult, which of course is the Worldwide Wrestling Federation, a.k.a. the WWF, a.k.a. the WWE, the big league company. There's also WCW right here. World Championship Wrestling, uh, Jimmy Crockett Promotions is around. There it is. I was like, where the hell? I'm on the wrong one. I don't believe New Japan Pro Wrestling's around. We do have um, the NWA is still around right now. Uh, I think it's only... No, is that it? No. I guess it's only as a um, an alliance, maybe. But yeah, there you go. We have all our companies out there. We are going to, of course, start as unemployed. So here we go. And, uh, look at this. The Man of Mystery, John Doe. Wrestling has had its fair share of strange events, but none stranger than the case of John Doe. The mysterious stranger recently seemed to appear out of nowhere, and now has the rumor mill working overtime as people try to guess what his intentions are. In a completely unrelated news, scientific t scientists today announced that they have recorded what appears to be a temporal shift, almost as if some kind of parallel world had just been created. Interesting. Huh. I said I started in the 60s. I was lying. We started in the 70s. Not the 60s, so that's my bad. My bad, guys, as, as the great R-Truth would say. I don't know why I said the 60s. Again, another mess up on my part. There should be some music playing in the background, guys. Uh, it's kind of low because I've had some complaints about the music being loud in the past, so... Hopefully you guys can hear it because I can't. But anyway... Let's go ahead, start our own company. We will call it the International. Because the point is to be global at one point. Wrestling. If I can spell right. 
Corporation. And I hope I spell everything right because you guys will flame me. We'll work on getting a uh, logo later. And I didn't know internet was great. Whoa, hello. I, cl I, I clicked on the settings apparently. Or the settings button, I guess. That was weird. <laughs> I didn't know um, IWC was, or internet was created yet. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put our internet in there for the future, I guess. As for what, where we want to be in, I, I am located in Arizona, so I guess Southwest would be pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it is kind of like sudden wrestling, you know what I mean? So, and I, I did do a little bit of a test, not really playing at all, just kind of looking at who's available to hire and stuff like that, what I'm dealing with. And it does look like the mod starts off with traditional and mainstream being the main key features. So I'm going to do something interesting here to kind of try to play off the fact that we are most likely going to be traveling through the decades and the numerous time periods. I'm going to set everything to a minimum level of none. Oops. A minimum level of none and a maximum level of key feature. Now, I'm sure there could be, you know, some problems with doing that. Maybe um, something shifts with my company by me changing things up. I don't know. I've never done this. It's an idea that I thought of, you know, when I was going to start this up, that I was like, it's a way that I can keep along with the uh, the changes that happen. Like, what are the current popular things? Like, if Cult ever became a popular thing like it is kind of now, then I can jump into that along with something like modern wrestling and all that. So, we're going to do traditional and mainstream. We're probably not going to focus anything on comedy or Cult or risque or anything like that. Uh, modern as well. Realism, um... What is realism? Old school athletic contest mindset. Matches may be slow. Maybe a little bit of realism, because I think that's kind of what was popular around here. So maybe we'll do a medium for realism right now. Hyper realism, I think, is MMA, which we'll, we'll avoid that. And um, what is pure? Back to basics, probably maybe heavy there. And again, I might actually end up changing this up if... Uh, if the one of these are like in the negative areas because I know cult and like risque and modern were all considered like in the negatives where it's not popular at all in fact it's the, the opposite of popular but uh, anyway we'll get to that in just a moment here so face and heel divide yeah that's fine even though for a, a local company it's pretty not it's kind of not wise to do a face and heel divide but I'm gonna try to stick to the tradition here because we're going to need storylines and you need kind of that. We're going to have no TNA levels at this moment. Uh, we can have women's wrestling. We'll do a division. We've got to put some love for the ladies no matter what era we're in. And no weight split at the moment. So let's do an analysis. So uh, more on performance than popularity. That's cool. Hardcore skills are less effective along with aerial. Uh, fans will expect all the wrestlers to have gimmicks. Not respond to subtle gimmicks. Okay. We have to have storylines, one match aimed as a technical masterclass. <sighs> what? I've never done a technical masterclass successfully, so. Eee. That's honestly probably because of the hype, the, uh, what, what the hell is it called? The pure. Uh, storytelling. Will attract fans not keen on high-risk matches, not keen on high-risky angles, is quite favorable towards getting sponsorship, and will allow the company not to be rocked by wrestling industry changes. The Young Lion system is active, so all good stuff. Do a quick data check. Our match intensity level should ideally be 20%, so we are at 60. Let's bring that down a good uh, 40% there. 40%, yep. Okay, cool. That is our company, and it could change up as it hopefully should. Again, not going to do a profile. It takes too long. I'm not going to write it all out. Uh, create company. Let's do it. IWC.gov. All right. So now we started the company. We start with a ripe $2,500. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's look at our creative meeting here real quick and see our recommended hires. Jimmy Snuka at the top there, along with Phil Melby, Salento Rodriguez, Marva Scott, and Mary Levine. So Snuka, unemployed. He is a rookie, 26 years old. Um, he could 
pretty be pretty cheap considering he's a rookie. Or he could be four hundred dollars. That is uh that is steep. I'm gonna try and get him for three hundred dollars. Can we do three hundred? He wants three fifty. Okay. See, this is gonna be the hard part, is I'm only working with three hundred or two thousand five hundred dollars, right? So I've ideally got to hire a lot of cheap guys at the beginning. That's going to be our main focus at the beginning here is making money. I'm not worried about um, how good they are, if they're good at all. It's all about making money right now. So I'm going to probably do that in a little bit. This is, this is probably going to be a bit of a longer episode, by the way, which is really why I hope there is music playing in the background, because uh, if not, it might get a little boring at times with me just kind of being quiet looking at things. By the way, since we are starting so further back in time, if you guys have anybody that you uh, would, of course, like me to hire, you can always comment down below, and I would most likely look them up. And if I can afford them at this time, I would most likely end up hiring them as well. So, While we're at it, let's look at the uh, the comp or the world right now. So, oh, Not what I meant to do. Get that out of my face. Um, so right now, the economy is rising from a B-. That's awesome. And the wrestling industry is rising. It is at a C minus. Tra trending products right now are traditional and mainstream. The unpopular products are cult, risque, realism, hyperrealism, hardcore, and daredevil. And I think we actually have realism on our thing. So if we can go change that real quick. Yeah, we have realism at medium. Let's make that a nun. There we go. And that's why I wanted to make it so... Um, we can change them all. So if, if we want none, we can make it none. And I don't think it'll affect us at all because we've made it so that we can go to none. And same thing for key features and so on. So we can always be changing with the times. But it doesn't look like the, the hype or whatever it was, was, um, was a popular thing right now. So I think I am going to go ahead and change that to medium and hope that takes off. And it does the uh, technical masterclass thing because I... <laughs> I honestly don't want to deal with technical masterclass, so we'll have that on a medium. So, honestly, we started off at a good time. It looks like both the economy and wrestling industry are rising right now. And uh, we are trending right... Well, we have the trending products right now, so ideally we should be um, catching the eye of the, the public. Now we just need to hire people, and hopefully for cheap. I do want to go ahead and look at the backstage real quick, because... Um, oh, boy. Lack of leadership skills are harmful. That's That can be bad. So, no alcohol is allowed. I don't mind if they smoke. They can smoke. That's fine by me. Uh, all this will make it negative, and I don't want to pay for anything else, so we're just going to save that. And as long as it doesn't say the backstage rules are having a negative effect, I'm okay with it. We are based in Southwest. I don't even think that's the right area, is it? No, it is. So let's ideally look for people in the Southwest at first. I mean, we're a local company. Let's um, let's try to stay local as best as we can. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to do to hire. I'm gonna adjust the mic here real quick, guys. Hope it doesn't bother you too much. I just wanna kinda sit back. My leg is falling asleep. Again, gonna adjust the mic. I know when it happens, like the mic spikes whenever I touch it, so. Again, hopefully not too much, but the position I was sitting in just was, was bothering me. And I wanted to lean back a bit, and I didn't want the mic, the mic to be too far from me, so. All right, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that actually pulled up a lot more people than I expected. So let's limit this right now, and let's try to do minimum years rookie max years two years okay we got two people and one's a rookie so hopefully uh hopefully both are cheap oh my god this guy wants four hundred dollars too the problem with four hundred dollars is like 100 more and that like that <laughs> 
I mean, it's really not that bad at the end of the day. But we got the calculator here. And let's say we we use both these guys on one show. That leaves us with seventeen hundred dollars. And then we have another one-on-one -on -one match. That's nine hundred dollars. And then so three matches alone would leave us with one hundred dollars left to play play with. That's three matches. That's why I don't want to spend four hundred dollars. Now, now again, these guys were you know asking for th like, I think Jimmy Snuka said three fifty. So, I'd imagine that these guys would also want you know probably three fifty as well. So, again, let let's do that. Three fifty. Well, what's three fifty plus three fifty? That'll be make this easier. I'm doing math on screen. That's okay, I should have known that. But. I'm on, you know, of course on screen, so it makes it hard. It doesn't make it hard, it just makes you on the spot, I guess. So we do three matches. Let's like, ideally say everyone wants 350. That alone still leaves us with $400 to play with. If we don't make a profit or anything, we're screwed because I can't afford to pay anybody else. And that's not including the commentator. Like, I don't think we need a commentator right now, but... Did I even look at this guy? He, he's probably four hundred dollars too. Yeah, I'm 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 thinking that's gonna be like the short smallest amount everybody's looking for. Let's just try to do rookies, and uh, let's take that off and just do can work anywhere or in the USA, excuse me. And let's see who's the cheapest. It doesn't matter where they are as long as they're they're cheap. Okay, so we're still. Still around the $400 mark. So I'm going to assume whenever I see $400, it's more $350. And, I mean, that's better, but that's still not really ideal. Like, these guys that are over $400 or anything, they, they're asking way too much. In fact, one of my things I feel... Oh, okay, this guy's cheap. What's his... Don Ross... I can afford this guy. Let's see if we can get him for just $200 straight. And we gotta make sure travel is not covered. I'm not paying you guys travel. It's not happening. He he wants 260. He's not gonna take less than 260. But it's honestly the cheapest I've seen so far. So let, let's go ahead and offer Don Ross a contract here. In fact, he's he's pretty promising. Look at that. Look at that. He's ripped. But. Uh, one of the things I always feel is, like, rookies, in my opinion, unless they have, like, name value, like, they're pretty popular, I don't think they should ask you for money. I mean, this is coming from a guy who's, you know, in his rookie year as a wrestler, and I don't expect any money. I'm, I'm, I just kind of hoping to get on gigs and get my names out there. Now, of course, like, I, oh, here we go, another guy, George Holtz. Of course, you know, um... There's no problem with asking for money or expecting money, I guess, but I just feel like unless you have, like, name value, you really don't have the right to ask for money. Like, you you should expect to kind of, like, work for for free or at least small earnings. Maybe not, like, I don't ex think anyone expects to be making $100, at, 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 let alone $400. Like, if that was the case, then, yeah, I, I would gladly you know, be working everywhere. I would gladly be like, sorry, can't come in this day. I've got a wrestling gig. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, I mean, I'm sick. Yeah, that would totally be me if I got paid $400 a, a gig. But I guess maybe that's just my mindset. But this is old school as well. Like, So far, only two people have been under $400. And I'm, I'm honestly kind of <laughs> giving up hope on the... Did I, wait, 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 hold up. Hold up real quick. I'll, I'll, I'll look at you real quick just because you're above, but... Roddy Roddy Piper. Or Rowdy Roddy Piper, I should say. Please don't be $400. No, he's $600. He's more than Snucka. Oh, he's 15 years old as well. Is anybody cheap like a hundred dollars would be awesome to me right now it's honestly going to be a gamble that's honestly where we're at right now 
I hear the music, actually. <laughs> I was wondering what that noise was for a second. It's just gonna be a gamble right now. Um, so... I think we're gonna go with Max Years 2, and let's try to limit this down to... You know what, actually? Let's, let's do this real quick. Let's reset everything. Let's go for a wrestler to hire. Uh, can work in the USA. And exactly an unknown in the USA. And we probably are going to get a whole bunch here. But the whole point of me... Uh, you know what, now that I think about it... Hold on. Real quick. Okay, I was going to see if like Bruno San Martino was on here or something. I was going to say, if they're unknown, then everybody's going to be unknown pretty much. Because I'm thinking about this. This is like the old school era, so a lot of these guys are probably going to be unknown. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them too. $900 and he's unknown. Whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. Andre the Giant? 23 years old. He's a five year pro. He's a young lion. He won $600. Jesus, guys. Oh my goodness. Everyone is so expensive. Why? Why is everyone charging so much money? I wish there was a way to, like, bring it down to, like, this is how much I'm wanting to spend. Can you find me people that, like, are okay with spending that much money? Or taking that much money? I thought maybe putting an unknown would, uh... Man, this guy's huge. Blue Demon? Jeez. I mean, I know who Blue Demon is, but... Actually, I don't know who Blue Demon is. I know who Blue Demon Jr. is. <laughs> Bobby Heenan? Oh, can we please? Oh, he's 1300! <laughs> Oh, Lord, this is gonna be hard. Did you hear my voice crack? Hard. <laughs> oh, no. It's Carlos Colon. He's 600. I think 500 is the cheapest thing. Chavo Classic. 800. Yeah. These guys are all gonna be pricey. Chin Lee? I can't... Oh my goodness, man. What is happening? Cousin Slim? 400, yep. If Cousin Slim's asking for $400, you know you ain't getting anything less. I have no idea who Cousin Slim is. For all I know, he could be like one of the best wrestlers ever. I doubt it, though. the gamble. I guess that's all you can do, and you just you just hope you make a profit, right? I guess that's the whole point. Hopefully it's not a short series. So 400 is really the, the least we can get. Oy vey. Luckily we don't need... Look, this is one of the best things. I should have offered him the fucking the contract before I did that. This is one of the best things here, is... As a local company, we do not need a minimum of uh, active wrestlers, so that's what's awesome. And I also don't think I need an announcer. Like, I'm pretty sure I don't. I do need a referee. And a road agent. Holy shit, and road agents are usually expensive. Okay. Let's go... Where's the road agents and right? Okay, they're of course like right here. Oh boy. And I bet this referee's gonna cost me a lot too. Again, I just want cheap. If I, if honestly, if I can get someone who, who is like a hundred dollars and has awful refereeing, at this point I don't care. I, I'll take, I'll take anybody. A referee 
at a local show should not expect to be paid if the wrestler is not being paid. What are you... Can the referee just be the referee? Or can the referee be the referee? That's not what I meant to say. Can the wrestler just be the referee? <laughs> Look at this. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. You're kidding me. For... For being a referee at a local show, dude? A thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? Seven hundred. Guys. Why are you asking so much? Is it impossible to do a local to global playthrough in this save? Because... I'm not thinking it's possible with... Oh, look. This referee says we're too small for him. Okay. If a referee is going to ask me for this much money, how in the hell am I expected to survive with $2,500? Like, that's a bit, a bit much, don't you think? I don't think it's possible. At least in this save, every referee has asked for more than $500. There's not been a single referee who has even said, Hey, I'll take 500. And honestly, I'd probably hire that referee at this moment. Come on, people. I need a cheap-ass referee right now. And you are not working with me. Guys, I don't think it's possible. The referees are asking for a thousand dollars to like seven hundred. Not Wal Wally tsunami, please. No, stop it! Stop it right now, all of you. You do not deserve that much money. What? Why is the popularity of the referees? Oh, you! How in the fuck am I supposed to do this? I don't think it's possible. Like, how? The referee is so much money. What, am I gonna have one match? I don't... I don't get it. And a road agent's gonna be way more than that. I already know the road agent's gonna want a thousand dollars, probably. <laughs> oh, good gracious! Look, this guy's a referee and a road agent. He wants a. I was gonna say, dude, if if you'll take less than a thousand, maybe I'll hire. I don't think he can referee and road agent a match, can he? Here's a guy that's just a road agent. $1,400. Dory Funk. $2,100. Ernie Mohammed. Nope. Maybe. I might have to use Ernie Mohammed here. He's also He also works in uh, the Southwest. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly, I'm not sure guys. I really, I'm really not sure. Because right now it's just, it's not looking good. With uh, all these prices. I'm honestly curious to see if, uh... oh no, 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 no. If um, just doing a hard playthrough still makes you local. So, this may or may not be the end of the video right here. In fact, this video might not even see the day, or the light of day, if uh, I end up proving that uh, a hard playthrough is still local to global, because if hard is not regional, then I'm doing that, because I don't think local to global is po are possible. At least not in this era. Because Christ Almighty, 
That shit's <laughs> freaking referee's gonna bankrupt me like right off the back. I have two thousand five hundred dollars to play with, and uh, the referee alone is like, "Well, it's gonna cost you this much for me to just be out there counting the mat." I'm like, "Dude, the wrestlers are out there risking injury and everything. What are you doing?" I'm not saying the referee's not an important job, but. Ask for more than what most of the wrestlers are making at a local company? That's the one thing I hope they change in the next TEW game. Because I hope they make the local companies a bit more realistic. <coughs> Whereas, like, they shouldn't have to pay wrestlers as much, if anything, and, you know, rookies should honestly work more for more, like, free, if anything. So, uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick, and we will see, shit, I can't, I forgot, damn it, I forgot to do the, uh, set him up to highest, that way he can actually open up his own company, I hate that rule too, dude, why, why, what, they need to do away with that, that owner stuff, I know it's kind of, you know, it plays in for the actual owners, but for me playing the game, if I want to create my own company, let me create my own company. Don't tell me I got to be a, a minimum owner, because that, okay, I was about to say, did I do the same damn thing? Because that's BS. Anybody can open a company, dude. You just got to have, like, a, pretty much a ring. That's all you really need. You don't need much money. You just need a ring. And the wrestlers will come, and majority of them work for free. That's why, I'm, at least where I work, I don't know how it works with everybody else, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing everywhere else with at least a local company, you know? Most of the wrestlers there aren't getting paid, if any of them, and um, they're honestly just there trying to get some uh, attention and some, maybe some eyes on them to hopefully maybe get uh, jobs elsewhere. Maybe build up a package for themselves so they can uh, go and work for Ring of Honor or something. Or maybe a company that's a little bit bigger in your local area that maybe has a local TV deal. I don't know. Something like that comes up and is like, hey, we like what we saw out there and we want you to come around. There are companies out there that could afford, uh, you know, paying their, their talents all that money. And I think that's what, you know, the, the, the regional thing should, you know, once you, once you hit regional... Is where you kind of represent your your state or you know your region, I guess, and uh, you know at that moment, got my face. Yes. Okay, this is the shining moment. So you start as a small company. You don't start as local, which is the problem. So the answer to that, no. We cannot do a hard game. It has to be a rock hard game because the whole point of this is to do local to global. So you see my mini test there. So we are going to have to stick with this. And uh, honestly, this is probably going to be a bit of the end of the video. I know it's kind of been me rambling on and <laughs> kind of just looking at, oh boy, what we're in store for. But off screen, I am going to offer out some contracts. And... Um, we're going to go for there. So I hope you guys have liked this. If you have, do me a favor, comment, like, subscribe. And uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends, Facebooks, Twitters, Instagrams. I don't give a damn. Anybody you feel would enjoy my content, give them a share. It helps the channel out greatly. And uh, if you want to buy TEW2016 for yourself, use the code TEWOMG and you'll get $5 off your purchase. But uh, I will see you guys later. Definitely let me know what you guys are thinking here as well. And uh, hopefully we'll talk soon.